SQL, our structured query language, was originally developed by Raymond F. Boyce and Donald D. Chamberlain at IBM in the early 1970s. Relational Software Incorporated published the first commercial version of SQL, known as Oracle Version 2, in 1979. They had originally developed their database system for government agencies like the Central Intelligence Agency and United States Navy. Relational Software Incorporated later became known as the modern database giant Oracle, who became even more massive when they acquired Sun Microsystems, the developers of Java. SQL is based upon relational calculus and algebra and designed for managing, modifying, creating, and querying relational database structures. The language is efficient and easy to learn and divided into queries, statements, expressions, and clauses. Here are some SQL keywords. Select, which selects and retrieves fields from one or more tables. From, which specifies tables from which to get fields. Where, which sets criteria for rows to be retrieved. Group by, which sets criteria for grouping, ascending and descending, which order things in ascending and descending order, and the logical operators and and or. And meaning both sides have to be true and or only one side has to be true. There's order by, which sets criteria for ordering and sorting records. Insert into, which inserts values into one or more tables. Update, which updates existing data in specified tables. And delete from, which deletes data from a specified table. As part of our review of SQL, let's go through a couple of examples. In these examples, the SQL keywords are in green, and database tables and field names are in white. In example one, we're simply going to select and use order by. So we would say select the field names ID, first name, last name, SSN, and pay rate from the table employees, and we're going to order things by first last name, then first name, and then SSN. In example two, we're going to use where and like to specify additional criteria. So again, we're going to select the fields ID, first name, last name, SSN, and pay rate from the table employees, where the last name is Germany, like Germany, and we're going to order it by SSN and descending order. In this third example, we're using the logical AND. We're going to select the fields ID, first name, last name, SSN, and pay rate from the table employees, where first name is like Charles and last name is like Germany. Remember with logical AND, both sides have to be true. So first name has to be Charles and last name has to be Germany to create a match. Finally, we're going to order by SSN in descending order. If you look at the fourth example, we're using the logical OR. And remember with OR, only one side has to be true. So we're going to select the fields ID, first name, last name, and rupees from the table Hyrule, where first name is like Link or first name is like Zelda, either one. And then we're going to order by rupees in descending order. Here in example 5, we're going to look at selecting fields from more than one table. To do this, we need to use commas and the dot operator. So notice how we're doing this. We're selecting the fields first name, last name, and kills ratio from two different tables players and CPUs, where from the first table players, the last name field is the same as the second table's last name field. Using the dot operator, we say the table name and then the field name. And then we're going to order by kills ratio, and this time we're going to put it in ascending order. In example six, we're inserting values into fields that already exist. So we're going to insert into the table players the field's first name and last name, and the values Charles and Germany. Here are a few more examples. In example 7 we're updating information in fields. So we're going to update the table employees and we're going to set the field SSN to have the value 246987639955 whatever value it may have had previously. Where last name is Germany and first name is Charles. In this case both have to be true because we're using logical AND. In example 8, we're creating a table. We simply use create table. We're going to give the table the name ponies, and we're going to put two fields in that table, the ID field and the pony name field. The ID field will act as the primary key, so I specify integer in purple there. And pony name will simply be string data, so I specify text 32, also in purple. Finally, in example 9, we're deleting a table, and to do that, we'd simply say drop table, and then the table name, which is ponies. In our last two examples, let's review inserting information. In example 10, we're going to insert into the table ponies the values 1 for the primary key, remember that was an in integer format, and then the value starlight, which was in string format for pony name. 
In example 11, we're simply selecting all the records from a table. We'll select the asterisk, which is the wildcard, from, and then the table name, which is ponies.